A Tejas fighter jet of the Indian Air Force made an emergency landing at the Shurat International Airport in South Gujarat due to low fuel. The Prachand helicopter is all set to undergo integration and testing with the 7 km range Helena anti-tank guided missile. Naval Group India is actively seeking partnerships with Indian companies particularly micro small and medium enterprises to support upcoming defense programs. The deal for three additional Calvary class submarines will be signed by the end of this year. The Ministry of Defense is planning to establish a new export promotion body along with a dedicated fund to help friendly foreign countries to buy Indian arms and ammunition. India has issued an OTAM warning for the period between 13 June to 16 June for a designated range of 415 kilometers, which is expected to be the test of air launched variant of indigenous technology cruise missile. Boosting its operational capability in the northern sector, the Indian Air Force is constructing a second runway at the strategically air base in Ladakh. The DRDO chief has pointed out that the private sector is currently shouldering much of the burden of funding research and development in defense, and that the absence of dedicated government funding for research and development in defense has created a gap that needs to be addressed to ensure the continuous advancement of indigenous defense technologies. Indian Navy's INS Shivalik stealth multi-role frigate has arrived at Yokosuka, Japan, for the 8th edition of Japan India Maritime Exercise JIMEX 2024. Seekun Engineering Projects Private Limited has delivered the 5th missile cum ammunition barge to the Indian Navy. Indian Navy's much-anticipated field evaluation trials for the SAT plus diesel electric submarines equipped with the bioethanol stealth technology-based AIP system will likely be delayed until 2025. Navantia has already launched SAT-1 submarine, and the SAT-2 submarine will be launched in the coming months, but both these submarines lack AIP system. The first Spanish Navy submarine to be integrated with the AIP system is S-83, and its sea trials will start by end of this year or early 2025, which has pushed back the field evaluation trials for the Indian Navy. While Germany has demonstrated AIP capabilities on Type 212 submarine, but the Indian Navy is specifically interested in evaluating the bioethanol stealth technology-based AIP system in real-world conditions, since it's a generation ahead of the fuel cell-based AIP system. The RDO's Technology Development Fund has awarded a technology development contract to Sagar Defense Engineering to develop a first-of-its-kind underwater-launched unmanned aerial vehicle to Sagar Defense, after selecting it out of the 17 firms through a competitive bidding process. The ULUAV will have the capability to be deployed quickly safely and autonomously from a moving submarine for discrete maritime surveillance missions, and weapons can also be installed on it in the future. It will have high endurance of more than one hour under range of 20 kilometers, giving it a huge surprise element advantage. The Ministry of Defense is seeking information from potential suppliers for the procurement of a very short-range air defense system known as Vajra, that is intended to bolster terminal defense capabilities against a variety of aerial threats in all weather conditions during both day and night conditions for the three armed services. The system should be deployable in shoulder-fired tripod-launched and vehicle-launched configurations, and it should be versatile enough for coastal and ship-based operations. Today's Top 3 Comments